Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different tabletop games project every weekday at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that project's being ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out the 19th most popular project on all of tabletop games that is the new Octopus's Garden from Maple Games, a brand new edition of the award-winning Canadian Design Board... Dot, dot, dot. So, couple things here I like, couple things here I don't like. First, a brand new edition of the award-winning game. That means that, can you do it? I feel comfortable. You've already done it, and now you're just bringing it back out because it was so popular and so well done. Great. I'd like to know the player count. I'd like to know the time link. I'd like to know the age. I'd like to know the mechanisms. But I will say, I do like the fact that they mentioned Canadian design. Because that's going to appeal to a very specific niche of people. And for everybody else, you know, it's not going to turn them off. It's not going to be like, oh, this game was designed in Canada. Get bad. I'm going somewhere else. But for a certain group of people, I like the fact they mentioned that. But I still would like to know the price here. Especially if it's a small price. Or, more importantly, just the time, like the age, that sort of thing. A brand new edition uh, with updated rules and new modules. So it's a redoing of an original game. And one thing I want to mention uh, to the company itself, if they happen to see this, is uh, it's called Starfish Kingdom in here. And you might want to fix the text on Board Game Geek. Just a little thing I noticed when I was going through there. So 73 backers. It's raised uh, 2700 of its $4,000 goal. So it's going to get funded probably in the next day or two easily because it just launched today and it has a very, very low funding goal. But as always, when we go into the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. Hi, this is Raven, and welcome to Octopus Garden. In this game, you'll try to make the best undersea garden possible. To do that, you'll buy tiles from an open market in the middle to place them on your own board. The thing is, when you take a tile, you'll have to take the three other cards. Okay, so I, I gotta apologize. I was immediately distracted by his backdrop of games. Do they, do they not have, like, different sides of the boxes in other parts of the world? Like, the sides of the boxes are all just gray, and that's just so... Like, I look at, around me, and it's just a, a wall of color and images and pictures, and it's just so gray, and it's just... Sorry, it caught me off guard. Continue. And welcome to Octopus Garden. Buy tiles from an open market in the middle to place them on your own board. The thing is, when you take a tile, you'll have to take the three of a column or a line. Costs are printed on each of those pieces, and each feature is placed following its own rules. For example, Anemonas went... So this is a great video to have, but I don't think this is a great Kickstarter video to have. I want to know the player count, the time length, the age, why it was so great originally, what you added, what's the cost, are there stretch goals, what's the deal with shipping. Like this, I want to know the gameplay, but I don't want to get this in-depth in the gameplay in this video. I want, I want to be wowed at first, I think. Ooh, meeples, cool. A pack of threes will attract clown fishes, and starfishes will move on your board trying to eat your oysters. Oysters are really important in the game because they provide you with pearls, the game money. You can buy more on your turn, and those opening more options to buy more interesting rows. And the last thing you can do on your turn is just to pass, and in which case you discard one of the tiles in the middle. Yeah, this to me feels like a preview video. Like, this feels like a really well done, nice music in the background showing me how the game is played preview. It's like, well, if this looks interesting, go check it on the Kickstarter page. I think there's a reason why don't, most people don't use this kind of video as their Kickstarter video is because, like, I there's so much more information that I want to know aside from the gameplay, and you're not telling me any of it. Of the open market. Once a player is done making his garden, all the other players have one more turn to try and complete their own. Octopus Garden is a very accessible and fluid game. It's because it's a game that takes place underwater. So, it's really easy wait, to understand. Wait, was there a joke there that I missed? I gotta, I gotta see if I missed the joke, it just went over my head. Fluid game. It's because it's a game. Yeah, so it's a very... In which case you discard one of the tiles in the middle of the open market. Once a player is done making his garden, all the other players have one more turn to try and complete their own. Octopus Garden is a very accessible and fluid game. Fluid. It's because it's a game Got it. that takes place underwater. I didn't hear that part. So it's really easy to understand and stop playing, but placement is so important that it will take a little bit of reflection to really get around it. We will work with the community to also add, during the campaign, modules, because they had a lot of depth oh, wow. in the game. 
depth because so they're going to be adding more modules presumably based on what people vote or request or something that's interesting looks like the size of the background board games are pasted on who would do that why would anyone do that i guess to make it more uniform maybe it's a game that takes place underwater are you explaining the joke again, again? okay well thank you for taking this and i love humor i love the little humor in there it's just there's so much important information that i would love to hear that you didn't talk about and then you're putting in humor it's like ah, I'll swim can we with get to us business first and we'll see you around i think i have a problem with puns okay uh so i think this launched just today whatever it's not a big deal 74 backers 2800 so do i want it um after the video ideally the answer should be yes I'm like, I'd like, I need to know the price. I need to know the player count. I need to know the time length. I need to know a lot of things before I go yes. Okay, good. They let off. Age is 8 plus, 2 to 4 players, 40 minutes to play. So it is a family weight game. Awesome. I would, I would spotlight that at the beginning. Because that's going to attract a whole group of people to your project. Uh, so 4 created, 20 backed. Awesome is a board game publishing house focusing, making games from Canadian authors and artists maple games will primarily focus on bringing titles to kickstarter we mainly want to do it the way this way because we believe in the board game community and value the feedback received from our players and the relationships we develop with our fans so reaching out to them and engaging them with directly is the best path for us to take as we begin publishing great games awesome and i think they have a niche here they have a niche of people you know the the, the patriotism you know and and i got nothing against it like hey this is a canadian company we have canadian illustrators we have canadian artists we got some canadian game designers love it pound your chest build that fan base so this one is suspended didn't do as well as they'd hoped this one 460 backers and 445 backers so they're definitely on the fringe they have yet to get that big hit let's see if we can pinpoint some of the stuff that's why because in theory if you got 460 backers here you got 460 backers there you released a new game you should be able to bring a very large hopefully chunk of those people to this new project with good advertising and making spectacular games and then be like oh we have to get the next game think about like when stonemeyer games was on kickstarter like or, or cmon like you build brand loyalty so 74 backers in the first few hours that concerns me a little bit but let's see what people are saying about the games let's make sure they got the games uh so updates is the game ship that's what i want to know september update let's start with a quick update to look at the shipping to give you all more details we're very happy to announce that delivery has been completed for asia australia and new zealand delivery for europe and the usa will be finalized in early october so wow this is september of 2019 so presumably those games shipped if not people would be irate <laughs> Yes, it's been a long time. Maple has had a management change, which caused this long break, but we're back with a new team. We are going through missing component requests and delivery issues now, so we should hear from us soon. I still haven't received my game. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, okay. Let's check out the other one. Let's check out the most recent one. So the game came out. They had issues. They had new management, um, which is, is interesting. Because normally when you see a product like this, you're thinking like a mom and pop. Like, very few people, very few fingers in the pot. Let's see how Dragon Boats did. Make sure these people got their games. Comments. Backers of Dragon Boat. Sorry for the delay of answers. Yes, it's been a long time. Maples has had a management change, which caused this long break. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you were thinking about this game, but I feel like I've overpaid for a deluxe edition, which is not really one. Additional tokens doesn't fit. Purple pink color are almost the same. Rule book is imprecise and no one replies to many rules questions. Support is a shame. As no one is replying anywhere, I suggest you go to their booth on Essence Spiel to experiment, exprim, I don't know that word, your concerns, exprim your concerns. Is that a word? I need to start using that. I have attempted multiple avenues to try to contact Maple Games over a component issue, but we've had zero response. Maple, where are you? Good job of fulfillment, but you just can't disappear afterwards. I feel like this project was rushed out. The game is, is decent once you get through the rules. Boxing the components would be cleaner, the color selection. So this is a lot of people having a lot of problems, and you not there in any way shape or form and this is why we do this this is why we go through this because you as a kickstarter backer need to know these kind of things if you're going to be investing your money in a project when there's you know 300 other games up here 
it might be hyperbole, but there's 350 tabletop games projects right now. They're not all games. Um, so, can you do it uh, a check minus? Neither of those two areas made me feel super comfortable. So do I want it? Not quite sure. Can you do it? Check minus. How much is it? Hopefully it'll be around the bush. We get to the price. Basic pledge, $30. Wow, that is, oh, so $45. Wait, $30. So, so it's going to be 40 So th here's the other thing. I would quite honestly spotlight that price, especially like this space up here. I think that'd be great. I think when you have a price that low, and I've done polls on this before, when you have a price under $50, a lot of people do a lot less research. They're just, because it's, let's typically, when you invest in say $100, $150, $200 Kickstarter, which is the majority of them, it seems, on board games right now, you you do a good deal of research because you don't want to be bamboozled out of $150. And from the polling that I've done, people don't feel that strongly once you get under $50. And specifically, if you're under $25, like people just throw cash at you. But I would be spotlighting that price up here. I think the new management is the Grail Games guys. Scott Alman. Well, thank you for the behind-the-scenes info. And that's great. You know, and that's, I mean... If that's the case, you get dealt the hand, you get dealt, but I don't know all the behind the scenes. I see the comments, I see them there, uh, and for me, it concerns me. Might be something they should highlight to increase credibility. Well, hopefully they do that here. So that price is great, though. $30, I don't think twice about that. I'd like to see the full list of components, hopefully soon. Wow, Kickstarter exclusive. All backers receive 40 wooden pearls. I wish these were zoomed in. Like, are these just round discs? Are these 40 discs? Zoom in. Octopus Garden was originally designed in 2010. Maple's Games is now bringing it back with a solid and rewarded design. A game for all and a variety of expansion modules should we hit our stretch goals. So if we don't, there will not be a variety of expansion modules. Is that what we're saying? I hope not. Summary of gameplay. I, cool. We went over this already. I just, like a video would be great. Keep scrolling to see more details on how you play. Good. So they're pointing me to the fact there is going to be a how to play video. Fingers crossed. That'd be great. Reports from the deep. Octopus Garden is deceptively deep. It draws you in with a colorful and playful art style and the provides and the uh, should be an end there. And then provides a plethora of tough and engaging decisions to make this a truly this truly a game that is easy to learn but tough to master. I like that quote. I like that. I thought that was solid. They let me know a lot of information about the game. I love, 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 love the game. As a diver, I really see how it is mimicking the underwater world. Okay. So it's it holds it's uh, good thematically i honestly hadn't um been thinking about the theme of the game i guess that much but yeah cool and because here's the thing i i think they definitely could make this a very thematic game like mary posis to me from uh i think it's agg is a very thematic game it's about uh, it's about butterflies going around and just trying to you know mm -mm, going around maiden and stuff uh, but it was it was easy to understand because it worked thematically. So that's cool that they're spotlighting that. I still don't think it's a great quote. Four player boards, one oyster shell tiles, and I'd like to zoom in. Honestly, I kind of like these cardboard pearls better than whatever this thing is. Like, because you didn't zoom in on it. And, like, I think the cardboard pearls have a little bit more personality. Uh, okay. Place them. Keep scrolling. Reports to the deep. What will I receive? So $30. We'll get you this stuff. Cool. Two rule booklets. English and French. Makes sense. Uh, stretch goals, 4,000, more coming soon. At least wet my whistle. Show me the first one. You know, if it's 4,250, just give me a little, little bit. How to play. Uh, I'm hoping for a video. Not seeing a video. You're telling me more, more text. Play now. Awesome. Discover the rule booklet. Great. Love seeing this stuff. All good stuff to have. How many pages? Pictures, illustrations, examples. That's what I'm looking for. Text is tiny, but it looks fine. Looks like a serviceable rule booklet, but once again, going back through the comments, the old ones, rule booklets might be something you want to do a little bit more research into, so I would read that, preferably, if you're thinking about backing this. Uh, In-depth reviews, preview, don't care. What sets this game apart is the combination of buying from the market a row or a column and then placing these tiles because it's very neat how you position yourself. What sets this game apart is a combination of buying from the market a row or a column and then... I don't like this quote. <laughs> Like, you're presuming I know too much about the game. Once again, I don't put it on them. I put it on the person who put the quote here, which is the company. Uh, Octopus Garden is deceptively deep. That's the same quote I already saw. Redundant. Watch Board to Death review of the game. Now, here you go. This is 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 good. 
uh, because it's a review of the original game, I do believe. Where's the quote from this? Where's the? Because that's the other thing. If this is an award-winning game and you're making it better, I feel like you haven't done a great job spotlighting how people love the original base game. You know, if people really were like, loving this original base game i would feel like this would launch a little bit bigger and maybe you just need to refresh my memory because i'm sure bored to death said something super nice in here splice that out and then put it in there because that's the other thing like if you're going to reprint a game and make it better i want to be convinced that the original is spectacular you know for me personally i have this passion project of one day running a kickstarter and like taking a game that i love that didn't didn't do so well and then bringing it back with like expansions and stuff but then I would pick point, like if I was going to do that, I would I would get a bunch of quotes from people who originally reviewed the game and played the game and then spotlight why that game was amazing and how this game is going to be even better and build upon it. And it's just, I don't feel like they did that here. Pledge levels, $30. Uh, group pledge. So if you want six of them, six of them. Uh, cool. Retailers, whatever. Why pledge now? Let's see what's the... So drip jar, seven people sitting on the fence. 63 people got the game. One person wants five copies, and no one wants you and your five friends. And that's a, that's an odd pledge level. I mean, I like it, I guess, because you're trying to appeal to you know people in like different parts of the world where shipping would normally just be astronomical, and by bundling all six of them and then splitting the shipping amongst six different people, you get what I'm saying here. So that's nice. I like the fact they have that. But uh, yeah, there's no but. Like I like that. One copy, and then the six-pack. This is clean. This is clear. I like this. This is a great little shipping area. Eight, 18. Uh, if you know what these flags mean, I'm sure this means a lot to you. This is great. Clean, clear shipping. I need to know VAT information, which will hopefully be down here. Wow, this is... They really got in the weeds here. Great. Project timeline. So I don't know about the VAT. I need to know about the VAT. You didn't mention the VAT. That's bad. Hopefully they, cover, they did not cover in the FAQ. It's not in the FAQ. So... That, so for the people of the United States of America, that doesn't matter, I don't think. I need to know about VAT and taxes and you didn't cover it. You gotta mention at least something here. Unless that's covering all. Like if it's just $12, boom, I'm in and out, that's great. Uh, so $42, it seems reasonable. $60 is MSRP. I don't feel like we did a great shot spotlighting the components. I think this is the best shot they have done spotlighting the components, but I think you really need to zoom in. I want to see the thickness of the cardboard. I want to see what the hell, why, why I want this instead of the other one. I get it's wood, but it's like I like the theme, uh, the flavor of the, the cardboard pop out of most. Okay, why pledge now? Fun for the whole family. Modules add depth to your garden. So right now, what are we getting? Are we just getting the original base game right now and we only get modules if we hit it stretch goals? Because if that's, if that's the play, that's a really interesting play because there's two scenarios here either you've already designed these new modules and you're hoping to hit bigger numbers to unlock them kind of like people do with like solo stretch modes or you're going to be designing them on the fly during the kickstarter campaign which let's there's a lot of play testing that would need to be done for that it's just a really interesting i don't I don't see why this is better than the old version. That's my other thing. I don't see you spotlighting how amazing the old version was, and I don't see you spotlighting why this version is better than the old version. New, modu new modules are already designed according to the rule booklet. Oh, thanks, Frank. How is the rule booklet, by the way? Uh, shipping costs. So, project timeline, pledges charged, backer kit surveys, production due to complete. So, they're thinking... Uh, possibly having this at Essen, it looks like next year cool who are we people with stuff we got experience we do things stay with us whatevs excellent rule booklet awesome good to know a frank says it's an excellent rule booklet that's what i like to hear um so faq updates comments give it a grade no updates it just launched that's understandable comments person has canceled their pledge seriously why no deluxe version even if it was 150 dollars i would have pledged you could have made everything out of squishies and fancy clear PVC. I'm going to add your store to be watched. Please, 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 in the future, make deluxe version of this game. Crazy, big missed opportunity. Okay, I'm following you now. Please, in the future, release the game with deluxe version. Could you, could you do it with plushies? I mean, that. so what she's asking for, I, I must say, it does seem pretty preposterous. Because it's like, that's a lot. 
That's a lot to ask for. Replacing all the pieces with squishies and stuff like that. Uh, that is a monstrous undertaking. That's the kind of undertaking, quite honestly, that sinks some Kickstarter companies when they try to bite off more than they can chew. Now, sometimes when they bite off more than they can chew and they actually manage to pull off that bite, that's how, the, you, how, that's how you build big companies. But that's dicey. Uh, so that is, I think that's a, I think that's a bit of a, a big request there. <laughs> but that would be cool, a deluxe version of the game. But do, do you really need it? Do we always need a deluxe version? Uh, Combrate made me aware of this game. Glad I could swim along this campaign. I love ocean-themed game. The original game has a lot of mini expansions. Are those the stretch goal expansions? If so, will all the old expansions be unlockable as stretch goals? If not, will the old expansions still work with this new edition of the game? These are humongous questions. Uh, and now, I'm actually less interested in the game after reading it. Also, the gameplay changes from the original were really needed to address common issues. As a longtime fan of the original game, I'm very happy with how they updated the game. Awesome. That's from A. Frank, who's played the original game, owns the original game, and is happy with what he sees here. Excellent. Me, as a new backer, I'm a bit concerned when I read this because if I'm backing this new version, I want all these minis expansions. Like, I want to be completely immersed in this game. I want to throw all my money at you and you don't have a pledge level where I can get the mini expansions, and you're not, in fact, even offering the mini expansions? I feel like that's a misstep. You're actually giving me less. We'll do our best to unlock as stretch goals as we can, and we're going to work with the community in order to do that so we can dive in relax. We'll let you discover without our up to water. Uh, if I want back two copies, does this cost more than shipping? Should I have more money? I've been waiting three plus years for this. Re so we do have some people who are excited about the game. That's great. We have a, a small, loyal fan base. They want the game. That's excellent. But I can't help think if they would have done things better for the first two campaigns, they would have more than 75 backers on this. You know, if you're into your third campaign, your fourth campaign, because one didn't fund quite uh, quite how you were hoping, that one looked like it hit the, the, the final day, that means that you're not building brand loyalty. Either because the games aren't good, or the experience of buying the games isn't good. And that concerns me. That always concerns me. If this was a first created... I'd have less concerns about the game than I do. So, in the end, what's my final grade on this one? I think, do I want it? Um, not really. I don't feel like the, the marketing really sold me, personally. I wanted more pizzazz. I wanted to know why this is going to be one that gets off my shelf. Granted, I'm super deep in the hobby, and I have tons and tons of games. But I just didn't feel that here. I didn't feel like this one was going to really wow me. So, do I want it? Not really. Can you do it? I'm a little bit concerned after looking at the track record. And how, how much is it? I do think the price is great. Even with missing half the shipping without the VAT and the taxes and whatnot, you're looking at $42. I think the shipping is a no-brainer. I think they should spotlight the shipping. So, in the end, I'm going to give Octopus Garden, I think, a C-. I think this one... I think this one needed to be a little bit flashier in its video. I think it needed to accentuate its price point a little bit better. I think it needed to accentuate more why the original game was fantastic and just make things a little bit clearer like because right now if we if we barely trickle past the finish line i'm not gonna get all these mini expansions that i'm gonna want and as a kickstarter backer i am so used to having a pledge level that gives me everything that when i don't see that it's like it turns me off, I think, a little bit. But let me know what you think in the end. I think I'm going to give this one a C-. minus. But what's your final grade for Octopus's Garden? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. As uh, every time we go on a Kickstarter, it takes a weird, wild journey. And I want you to come with me at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every weekday. Bye-bye.